Buzz. All right, welcome back to the Road Show. Before we get to the Buzz this morning, we want to share some breaking news with you. The website WEEI.com is reporting that Tom Brady, Patriots quarterback, was involved in a car accident this morning in Boston on the corner of Commonwealth and Gloucester. According to the report, Brady was shaken, and it was believed that the jaws of life were used in the accident. We don't know if it was on Brady's car or the other cars involved. An Audi with New Jersey plates and a Ford minivan were thought to be involved in this accident as well. Another source reported that the quarterback had gone to Brigham and Women's Hospital to be checked out. Hopefully he's okay, of course, and everyone else yeah. involved in the accident is as well. Yep. We'll have more information on this uh, breaking news story out of Boston coming up later in the day. And I'm sure we'll ha have it covered in the noon show as well. Yes. Uh, well, this morning in the buzz, outrage continues to grow over a Florida pastor's plan to burn the Muslim holy book on September 11th. Now, despite public pleas from international and religious leaders, including the president, the Vatican, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and General David Petraeus, Reverend Terry Jones says he will go ahead with his plan to burn hundreds of copies of the Koran. Some of those copies were actually sent to Jones by supporters of this event, and while many think this stunt is distasteful, experts are agree that, that he is protected by the First Amendment. Take a look at this. As long as those are his Korans on his property, the government can't stop him. On September the 11th, we shall continue with our planned event. Well, the State Department has ordered U.S. embassies around the world to brace for possible fallout, but uh, hope that these actions um, you know, they're hoping that these actions will just, they'll be able to say, listen, this is a fringe group, this is a small group, this is not how Americans feel. Um, you know, he is within his rights to do this, but what do you guys think about the fact that he's... I think he's putting a lot of uh, possible lives in yeah. jeopardy here, like, you know... Uh, it's days like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you do. It's honestly days like this where I wish we, there was no such thing as the media, because mm -hmm. if it wasn't for... Yeah, Hillary Clinton was asking for it not to be covered. Well, think about that. it. Like, if, if, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. if, a, if a tree falls in the woods and, you know, no one's around to hear it, does it yeah. make a sound? I mean, this, if there was no such thing as people giving this guy attention, I know that's not going to happen, right. but no one would know about this small little church that I think has, someone was talking about it, like 50 parishioners? Yeah, they have 30 now, but 30, yeah. so mm -hmm. they're losing them. And there's a good chance nobody would know about it. The guy, what's he having? Oh, he's burning leaves in his front. You know, you yeah. wouldn't know exactly what he's doing, but we do. And this could really cause a worldwide, yeah. you know, thing here. You know, the thing is, um, this is uh, what's what's disturbing about this is, you know, he he talks about the fact that you know Jesus wasn't always just a calm, peaceful person. There were times where he was at the temple and he was flipping over tables and that sort of sa thing, saying, you know, what you're doing is wrong, and and so that there was uh, there was a side of, of Jesus that that you know would would fight when the time was appropriate. The only thing, which is true, but the the thing is to transfer that to this seems like a huge leap. Um, I don't understand how, even if you don't believe in, uh, you know, in Islam, yeah. how burning the Quran, which is, uh, you know, to us, I, I think even to cr many Christians, the, the Bible, it is a holy, a holy book to Christians. However, it is still a book. It's just papers. Right. And, uh, and, and that's not where your faith lives. But it seems as though to the Muslim community, you know, you even draw a picture of the Prophet Muhammad, and that is oh, beyond they're, they're the into, they're, they're into yeah. this. You know, the, the, that's it. That's yeah. their thing. I mean, that's like, that's Which a personal show, who attack. Who knows how they're going to react? Yeah. I mean, well, I'll tell you how they're going to react. could be starting something that, you know, is a lot bigger than he's, I think he yeah. sees where the outcome is going to be. Well, we've had some video this morning in our news on national reports of people around the world, how they're reacting to this. And they're burning has, him in effigy. They're yeah. burning the American the flag. flag. It hadn't even happened yet, and they're already, yeah. already wound up about yeah. it. So I don't think this guy's going to reconsider either. This guy looks like no, he's, he's a rebel with a cause, and he's he just going to roll. Was, what he said was, if he received a sign from God that he should stop, that he would. And as much as you might want to roll your eyes, I mean, that's what Christians believe. Christians believe, you know, when I make a decision to do anything in my life, I turn to God and I wait for him to answer me. Uh, hopefully, this man will see what he, what the rest of us hope he will uh, see. Sign of God. Tom Brady got in a car accident. Things are going haywire now. <laughs> like, stop. Seriously, what does a sign from God happen. look like? Well, mail well, to it depends. It depends on on where you stand and what your beliefs are and the way that you have a relationship with God. But hopefully, you know, whatever his relationship is with God, this will, you know, yeah. maybe God will talk just, him out of it somehow. We, we have time. It's only the ninth. He has two days. Maybe God That's will get through true. to him and say, "Yo, buddy." Ixnay that idea. Well, I want to throw a Ramel this morning because uh, you know this is what people are talking about all over the country and really all over the world, Mel. Yeah, they certainly are, and I have to say, I was also hearing this morning that the Reverend was thinking of reconsidering 
if he got a call from the White House, so I don't know how that's going to play out. But it will definitely be interesting, a little bit scary, and I, I don't know. I just think it's not right. But let's head on over to the live blog right now on foxprovidence.com and see what some of our bloggers have to say this morning. Smokey Wolf says, okay, I don't believe this is the right way. I mean, two wrongs do not make a right. They may burn our flag, but it doesn't give the right to burn their Bible. And Nick, the editor, writes, okay, so religious freedom is what our country was built on. Roger Williams, this state's hero, fought for religious freedom for four years so that no one religion would be oppressed. This blatantly goes against what Roger Williams stood for. And I posted today's buzz poll question on foxprovidence.com. You'll find it right under the live blog this morning. And today we're asking, do you think that he is within his rights to express his feelings this way? Your choices are yes, he's protected by the First Amendment, or B, no, he should find a peaceful alternative. And on Facebook, our friends are weighing in this morning. Donna says he should not go through with this. We have freedom of religion. That means all religions. If he were a true Christian like Jesus, he would forgive. And Adrian Clement writes, he is blind. It's not the religion that is bad. It's the terrorists who make the religion itself look bad. And Dan says, I don't think the question is whether or not he is right to do it, but is it his right to do it? Obviously, that answer is yes. Agree with it or not, we have the right to pretty much say or do whatever we want. So a lot of interesting comments from our bloggers this morning. Don't go anywhere because I'll be back at the end of the show with your web poll results. But for now, let's send it on over to Patrick who's making some cupcakes.